Okay, let's go. Super hungry. We're so hungry. Hungies. We got the hungry munchies. Azul, pay us for the hungry munchies at McDonald's. Now I believe Group A consists of myself, Deuce, and Epo, correct? Yes, sir. I'm ready when you are, Azul. Where should we start? Do either of you have anything you'd specifically like to do? I'm not sure I haven't actually been on many trips before. Same. But I guess I'd like to do something you can only do here. Rather vague answer, but not unexpected once I had a feeling you wouldn't have any specific ideas. You're in luck, though. I did research beforehand and formulated some plans. If you ask me where we, what should we should be prioritizing on a trip, I would say gustachu tour, olfactory, and tactile experience. I should actually screenshot this for when I take my own vacay. You can't get those through books or the internet after all. I believe cuisine is the most efficient way to understand the local culture since it developed according to the region's very soul. What would the two of you say to that approach? Uh, I'm losing you both, aren't I? I'm suggesting we go eat some of the local foods. Oh, I get it now. Sounds good to me. I was just getting a little hungry. I'm up for that, too. I trust you have the full city maps you were given beforehand. Let's visit the busiest part of town first. Okay, okay. Wow, just look at this plink. It's incredible. You know, Harveston's in the Shaftlands too, but the streets and houses here look so different. Hmm, I wonder if this, if, if it's this busy because of the festival. Oh yeah, that remote, we just finished. Ah, uh, sorry, burp. We just finished reading through Harveston. That means we're just going for one part of Shaftland to the other. Oh, that means Eepo's from France. Fancy flanch places. Or European outskirts would be more like it. Anyway. <laughs> Hardly. For us, it is always busting with life. Why, hello there, Rollo. You have impeccable timing. We were hoping to sample some of your iconic foods to better acquaint ourselves with the city itself. Well, if it were to name something representative of our city, it would be bread, I take it. I did a little research on your fair city before we left. Hmm. <laughs> that is very industrious of you. It's nothing so grand, really. Will you be willing to recommend a bakery for us? Wait, bread? I mean, I like bread as much as the next bite. We can get that anywhere. Hard to imagine it's as iconic food. Yeah, I don't know. The bread from the cafeteria and school stores are great. What I can get in the Kingdom of Rosa just that... You smell that. Oh, something smells amazing. It's making me super hungry. Me too. It hit me at the moment. I cut a whiff of the goodness. I detect the strong scent of butter as well as the pleasant aroma of bread baking. That is the long-standing bakery I am rather partial to nearby. And it smells like they just finished baking a fresh batch. Let's pay them a visit. To be continued. Let me check the other one. Starts at chapter 7! That means there's six here! Six, twelve, eighteen chapters, roughly? God damn. Simply incomparably. Oh, check out the pastry. They're like ten times bigger than any of the bakeries on Sage's Island. Actually, probably more than twenty times bigger. They do have a surprisingly large section. We have a long tradition of bread baking floss. If your flour has been milled by a windmill on the edge of town since the old days. Our bakers use this precious flour, which shows the final product. There are numbers of famous bakeries here. Well, recently they've started using a water mill on the Soleil to mill flour as well. Demand creates supplies, and supply creates demands. A truly wonderful cycle. Now that I know every step of the process is done, here I am more interested in trying some. 
<laughs> I am pleased to, to hear it. It's a privilege to be able to provide you with a glimpse into our culture. Honestly, I could skip the history lesson just bite into the whole honking loaf right now. Yeah. <sighs> Come now, shouldn't you boys be taking this time to learn about philosophy? I'm sure Vittle and Vil impressed upon you what a valuable learning experience this is. It's not all fun and games. Okay, that wasn't me. Me either, which means... Rolla, which type of bread would you suggest we try? He should change the subject quick when your Zul's stomach could be that loud. Hmm, I would suggest these. Croissant. Croissants? They look a little plain compared to the other pastry, like the one filled with fruits and chocolate. Croissants are special though. They're filled with nutrients that invigorate the town folks' mind and body. They're far superior to typical loaves of bread or baguette. Their taste is simply incomparable. I always make sure to point of having a croissant on special occasions. After such a ringing endorsement, I feel I must try one. Oh, it's still warm and it smells great. Just can't wait. Down the hatch. I did the munching noises too quickly. It's fantastic! What a distinctive way to fly for I believe I'm tasting a blend of bread flour, cake flour, and a whole wheat flour. Fresh butter and aroma. The dough form layers which gives the pastry an unbelievably light crispy texture. The sweet glaze on top of brings out the natural sweetness of the dough itself. All accentuated by a rich salty buttery flavor. I could eat a whole plate of these. I'm already eating one, but Azul's just making me hungry. I'm getting, I'm getting another two. In fact, I'll get two more. You two sure have healthy appetites. What can I say? They're super good. You could get another one too, Azul. Hmm, that's all right. I prefer a more systematic approach to my energy intake. Besides, I wouldn't want to fill up purely on bread. This place has wheat in abundance, you know? What that means, don't you? Uh, nope, I don't follow. Neither do I. Go on, tell us, Azul. Oh, you're so honest. Maybe too honest. Being around you is throwing me off. It's probably because we don't run in the same circles. I was implying that Floor City is also known for its sweet confections. Hmm. Indeed we are. We, you have really done your research. There's a popular pastry nearby, patissia nearby. Allow me to take you there. Can you imagine dudes just react with, eh, I guess it's as, almost as good a trace. <laughs> Definitely good, but oh my god, no, dudes is actually gonna say it. He's gonna compare it to trace pastries. Here we are. You can smell sugar. Oh, look, Trace made me those things before. They're unbelievable. What were they called again? Financias. They're made with wheat flour, almond flour, and brown butter. You can see how buttery they are. I imagine they're a bit calorie dense. They taste as rich as they look. Quite befitting given the name Financia. You see how they look like bars of gold? They say those who will eat them will line their pocket with riches. Riches, huh? <laughs> Sounds like a perfect treat for you, Azul. I don't believe in leaving things to chance. I suppose doing something for good luck so it couldn't hurt. Ah, I read that wrong. Ah, no! <laughs> I don't believe... What? I don't believe in leaving things to chance. But I suppose doing something for luck couldn't hurt. What's the difference? Oh, there's a world of difference. Simply hoping for prov providence while doing nothing and covering every possible base. I think I get it. Maybe? It means there's no point in crossing your fingers and hoping for good grades on a test. If you didn't bother studying for it. Oh. For all order, any of these streets supposed to improve test scores? 
I'm afraid not. Oh, too bad. Isn't that just terrible, Deuce? Uh, I can't argue with that. A lesson learned, then. If you can't take the heat, get out of the patissiere. But if you're ever truly in need of help, my doors are always open, especially after book three. <sighs> While we don't have any academic panaceas, we do have many other sweets lately. I've noticed gluten-free confections growing more common. This right here, sir, best seller. Oh, she looks so cute. Whoa, are those macarons? They said... They certainly are, though a little oddly shaped. They are shaped like the bear. They're meant to look like the bear of Salas. Ah, of course. They're small enough that I could just pop one in my mouth. I'll think I'll have one. Oh. <laughs> God, I wish I had an artistic talent to draw this scene of us all just munching down on a macaroon in one bite. <laughs> It's nice and switch brings some back for the guys in Hartslobule. Unfortunately, macarons do not keep well. The treat people can only experience when they visit here. Mm, the yellow color was a good choice to evoke the bell. And the ganache feeling is refreshing as it, as it is delicious. Uh, and I believe those are little nuggets of dried grapes and apples in there too. They look like colorful jewels. They're definitely good, but not as fit, not filling at all. Why do you look unimpressed, Ebo? I thought macarons were your favorite food. Hi, Irene! Yeah, you made it! How do you know that? Likes and dislikes are the first thing you should look into when you want to get closer to someone. But was my intel mistaken? Would you prefer something with a stronger flavor profile? No, I'm good, I think. Excellent that my intel bears out. Gwani will have as many as you like. Okay, thank you for lurking, Irene. Man, I swear to God. The fucking freaking fracking witch does something to larkers. They just don't count. Y'all are ghosts. <laughs> I'm not I'm not scolding you, I'm scolding Twitch. I'm so sorry that came out wrong. Sure, he's being nice. Nice, nice. He's so when he comes by later and gives them the bell. It's, I'm already an hour in and I'm barely into book two. Oh, the tragedy. I may have to do an extra stream on book two and book three next week. Maybe even tomorrow. Make tomorrow the Twisted Wonderland day and the rest of the week is going to be Horror Terror Time! Boo! Bookstacular! Woo! I already know. Amanda the Adventure is gonna be for Sunday. But what about the other horror stream? I need at least four horror streams. Two this week and plus two more on the 30th and 31st. How far ahead of book two are you? I'm literally at the start, I mean, I had to do the lessons! Lessons! Well, for idiot, I had already done the rest. I didn't know it wasn't character specific ones i just needed to do 30 of each and i was not doing flight lessons but yeah my flying skills are like so fucking rusty because like i do not take those classes like eh -eh, they are not for me but anyway enough about that though let's go into what actually matters I finished all released character X. What's all released characters X? And why does the chat look so blurry on the stream? God damn it, I need to improve my video quality. Is this a general store? Hmm. That's right. Go on and have a look around. It looks like the shop perfect place to do some souvenir shopping. True, perhaps I'll pick out a few things for the Octavenial students. Ugh. What's with that reaction? It's rather rude, you know? As well? Buying souvenirs for students? 
What's so surprising about that? You're going to actually give them away for free? That's generally what you do with gifts, yes? What do you take me for? I'm capable of caring for my fellow Octavenios. This is a fine chance to convey some gratitude to them. He's gonna use this to lo lord it over them, isn't he? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Sorry for suggesting otherwise. Golly, Vil said you were greedy and told me to be careful around you. But you're car you're a caring houseward in the zoo. <laughs> just so I'm a very caring houseward and was just last book mocking Floyd and Jade about not being able to come to the trip with us. Hmm, though I never said I wouldn't expect anything in return. Hmm, what's this? Wooden blocked with letter on them. Those Zosa study aids for children, building blocks to help them learn the alphabet. There's a letter on one side, then a word starting with that letter on the opposite side. Children in Flossity use them all the time. Neat, let's see what kind of words they have. Apple for A, baby for B. <laughs> That's cute. And F for festival. There's a picture of a children playing at the festival under the word. They're easy to understand, fun to look at. Yeah, I bet little kids would love these blocks and learn a lot from them. In the past, lesson with more demanding. Children had to study much larger and more complex words. But people complained that the curriculum was too hard for the children to understand. So nowadays, building blocks with simple words are more common. It's deplorable, really. So, z so these are building blocks. We don't have them in the Coral Sea. That's fascinating toys. Wait, we don't use building blocks under the sea? No, wood doesn't tend to last long underwater. They're not common. We do have study aids made from shells, though. Tall land children play with building blocks. Nah, I don't remember playing with any. I mean, I might have just forgotten, but my mom says I always love playing outside. Yeah, my family says I was always big on sledding and climbing trees. Lots of outdoor stuff. You're both so active. Even if I've been born online, I doubt our paths would have crossed. Well, I still need to find souvenirs that would be easy to hand out on a large group. I'll look around a bit longer. Suddenly, I'll take my leave then. I should go check on the other. Thank you for so kindly showing us around. I'm sure we'll see more of each other later. Let's see if we can finish book two. Hopefully I can. If it runs a little too... Actually, it's 541. Okay, no, forget it. I think I'll be ending after this one. Sorry, Irene, you got here way too late. But it makes you feel better. I'm going to do a 10 shot since it's Halloween, so no... X amount of viewers restriction. Uh. Well, we've eaten our fill and procured souvenirs. Let's stroll over to the festival ground, shall we? Okay. Sadly, I started a bit too late for the stream. <laughs> Maybe next time, though. Oh, man, that's a lot of stalls. I see fruits, vegetable, bread, fish, processed meats, cheeses. They even have antique shops as well. I suppose there are no restrictions on what shop can sell here. One could risk business if they planned well and avoided competition. There's no shortage of customers either. Yes, what a fine place for trade. You ain't see things as a seller right, rather than a buyer, huh? Of course, I have to keep a sharp eye out at all times or I could miss a golden opportunity. Oh, hey, if it ain't do deuces group. Hello, group A. Are you enjoying yourselves? Why, hello, Professor Train, and greeting to you as well, you and Grim. Yes, we're having a most enlightening time. I do so enjoy fieldwork. Find anything interesting? Find anything good to eat? Oh, yes, we sample many local breads and sweet. It was all positively... Sublime. Azul's an amazing food critic. He really gets into all the detail. You should hear him sometimes, you. I'm all jelly. I want to eat good food, too. You ate 
plenty on the way here. Are you about to walk around this street? We could join you if you'd like. I'd be delighted to have your invaluable guidance, Professor Train. By all means, do. Welcome aboard! Welcome aboard. Ugh, I, did, I fucked up the two's voice. Oh, hey, they st that stole their sales accessories. Hmm, what's this? It looks like a necklace. <clears throat> it looks like a necklace. The pendant's a wooden frame with some kind of netting inside. What an odd design. Oh, that's just a pinky rock in the center. Boring! My ribbon looks weaker than that janky necklace. <laughs> You're really into that outfit, huh? Let me see. The, ah, that's a classic Floor City Charm necklace. Well, well, I took you for a turn, but you know your stuff. Oh, anyone my age would know that. What's the charm supposed to do? There's a whole thing about it when you wear it. It, it this woven, woven band, you hold the city in your hand. Interesting. So when someone wears it, they become rich enough to buy a city. I have that right. Well, I uh, hard to say nobody knows what it's really supposed to mean these days. So no one knows what it does? That's kind of a letdown considering it's a charm. Hmm, I recall more stalls carrying them the last time I was here. Yeah, well, they're kind of hard to explain, and they went out of style a while ago. Now they tourists barely know what they are. They're more for locals than anything else. Hmm, a curious design with a cryptic meaning. They get a kick out of that. I think I'll pick up two for Jade and Floyd. So you're getting souvenirs for them too? More like compensating for minding the dorm while I'm out. The necklace are suitable and not too expensive. Say you, are you and Grim buying any gifts for people? I'll, I think I'll get some of these necklaces. I'm still looking for just the right thing. It's always wise to be careful to let me know if you find anything particularly memorable. I might considering picking it up for myself. Yeah, as long as I, I'm good as long as I can eat my waiting snacks. Hey, maybe I'll get Ace something if I feel like it. Ah, uh, poor Ace. Yeah, I'm making sure to reward them for not wrecking Monster Lounge. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they wrecked it already twice over and then fixed it up just for the lol so that Azul never knows. Philosophy. Hmm. So your group has been exploring the city in a systematic manner following Ash and Grotto's lead. And it sounds like Spade and Thelmir have been both cooperative and eager. We should be on our way, but keep up your learning, considering your knowledge a prize you'll take back to school. Thank you very much for your time. We'll see you again when we have to meet up. We still got time before then, right? What else can we do? Mm, how about... Ah, deuce, Epo. Yeah? Here, these are for you. I picked them up when I bought the necklace. Really? What a pretty bag. Oh, there's pencil in here. You boys red and mine is yellow, huh? Wait, these are good for us? Yes, they are. Um, what's the catch? There's none. I bought them to commemorate this day. Really? Oh, that's so nice of you. I feel like since you got it for me, it'll help me study better. Yes, yeah, same. I'm feeling better about my next test grade already. I'm surprised though, I didn't expect you to get us gift. Apparently, the local company that makes them has been doing so for ages. They're meant for sketching, but I tried one out and it feels nice to write with. I hope they'll give you the motivation to apply yourself to your studies. Thank you. Thanks. You're so easy to talk with, Azul, and you got a great sense of humor, too. I actually thought you'd be more intimidating. Yeah, I'm glad I'm in Group A now. I think one person was all it took to soften them up. My plan was to befriend some trusting freshmen so the next few years at school would be easier, but these two are alarmingly credulous. I can only imagine how rough villain Riddle have it. You two make me fear for for Night Raven College's future. Huh? Why that? I like to bo I like you both to ponder that very question. Now let's move on, shall we? There's more to see and only so much time. Lead the way! Uh, 
Okay, yeah. I'll be finishing up now. But before that, let's go ahead and swap. Give me a second, Irene. No peeking. Yeah, now he's not outwardly trying to take over the school. What great character development now he's only trying to manipulate everyone into being his slave instead of forcing them via contract that's so nice of him right okay let's do this i had to spark out this piece of shit cat but i got it i got the super exclusive cat. Yay me! Let's do this, idiot! Come on out, idiot! I want you here! Please. I need someone to be easy to roll. Reveal unto me the nature of your soul! Idiot! Idiot, we have Orto, we have Orto, we have Orto. Come on out, and you can have your Orto too. I can drown Grim in the waterway under the city. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. Oh, come on, idiot, 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 idiot. Nope. Idiot, 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 idiot. Nope. Ah, oh, hey, it's a Zebek. Nope. Another Zebek. Orto. We have Orto now for real, idiot. Come on. Another Civic! Silver! No! Well, that's the end of this stream. Uh, I'm not really gonna raid anyone because there's literally only two people here and there's no one streaming, so... Bye-bye, everyone! They should put Azul in as bait. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Bye-bye, Irene. See you next time. Bye.